Right, so welcome back to the fourth episode of my beginner tutorials of Kerb uh, to Kerbal Space Program here at the launchpad where today we are going to have a look on how to rendezvous and dock which is one of the, or to me it was the, the biggest challenge when I was new to Kerbal Space Program and it took a huge time until I, I managed to do it for the first time and um, let's not waste too much time because our launch window is closing soon i'm gonna explain during the launch what that means so let's let's just activate sas set it to full thrust and what you can see here the, the mark 2 the mark 2 is very similar to the mark 1 that we sort of built in the last video or that you actually saw in the beginning of the last video which many of you really like and um, yeah, so anyway, it uses the, the Mark II command point from the Mark II history, you can see, which is similar to the Mark II, but it's two turbos, and uh, um, the rocket under engine is very, very similar to the Mark I from the last video, which uses the same engines, but six boosters, four of them being lit at launch, and uh, the remaining two up during the flight. And again using the PCC Sumper and the uh, uh, Swivel engine. Um, yeah, this one is similar. And you can find both of these crafts and a third one that you are going to see soon. last video, in my opinion, it was so bad that I'm just gonna explain again on how to get into orbit because we're now flying a little bit eastwards, or actually flying very eastwards, almost horizontally, and thus we increase our horizontal, uh, horizontal speed more and more. As you can see here, we are flying longer and longer, until we will just fly, or we will be free falling, and here without ever hitting the ground. Yeah, now this orange arrow is um, when you set something as target, it will closest uh, approach, which is this two uh, orange arrows. want to, uh, to get into a little bit higher orbit than our target because our target is behind us and if it is in a lower orbit it will be flying at a higher orbit speed while the actual distance it has to cover is uh, uh, shorter so the period of one orbit will be oh that doesn't look bad there already uh, so the period of one orbit will be shorter than if you are flying higher. Uh, 
100 km orbit. Or we now have a apoapsis of 100 km. Let's go about there. Start our synchronization. As you can see here, the, the flight path and the trajectory is getting longer and longer. And, uh, this is the ground like this. Now it won't even dip into the atmosphere anymore. Wait. Like this. bit too high over there. So let's go to the periaps, periapsis and lower our apoapsis like this. We burn the retrograde until we end up in this 100 km orbit. And the problem we have now, my idea was to, to be in a um, in a constellation relative to my target like this, like the, the target being there and me being there. But I underestimated the, um, the time it takes to launch this Mark II. So um, what we are going to have to do now is here you can see how the um, the uh, KV-3 is it named, our target, slowly is or already has overtaken us and now is building up the lead and we will have to wait until it is somewhere there. Hmm. This is going to take some time. Yeah. About now we are correct. And um, what you can see here, this scanning node, and over there the descending node is, um, if you look closely, you see that uh, um, the two orbits of the KV3 of our target and of the Mark II of us are tilted towards each other or inclined. So um, what we have to do is go to the ascending node and then if it is the ascending node go into anti-normal direction or southward and oh geez we missed it I was talking too long let's go to the, the uh, there it is the ascending node but let's go about there set it to, to normal direction, the other triangular shaped symbol. And what we will do now is uh, point to the north of Kerbin, that way, fire our engines, and as you can see, the, um, our orbit is moving away to the south from the orbit of our target. 17 seconds we will have to fire up the engine. degrees until the two orbits don't match yet because mine is higher but the inclination of the two orbits matches 
And the next thing we are going to do is place a maneuver node by left clicking our trajectory like this, pressing add maneuver. And then you get this little um, uh, useful thingy here, with which you can uh, plan ahead what burn you want to make in what direction. Like this one going um, normal to the north like crazy. And the red thing here tells us that uh, 1143 meters per, uh, per second of delta V that we have to to burn even um, exceeds the delta V that we still have in our craft. But what we want to do, because of course we are flying higher than our targets, is burn retrograde, which is this one, until we drop the, the periapsis of our resulting orbit to the same, um, what is it? There it is. To the same altitude like our target. And if you remember, these orange arrows are the, the points of closest approach. And you can see here our closest approach will be at a separation of one, almost 140 kilometers, which doesn't help us. So our, this will be our closest point of approach and our target will be there. What we will do now is move the maneuver along our orbit. That's the reason also that I, I placed us in a perfectly, well, almost perfectly circular orbit before, which greatly helps doing this until we can see that the uh, two arrows of my position at the closest, uh, closest approach, uh, our position and the position of the target almost match. So if we now do or uh, burn this maneuver that we have planned ahead in 19, 19 minutes and 30 seconds, it will lead us to a distance of 4.8 kilometers to our target, which is good enough. So we can either way manually point to the blue marker, which will be our maneuver, or just tell it to do. So and let's warp to our time warp to the next maneuver. Burn time at full thrust will be only one second, so of course we are not going to burn at full thrust because 20 meters per second is nothing. 50 seconds. distance 
So we are gonna point towards our target, which we can use this button down here. And get closer. We will be closest. Okay. It's time warp until we get to the day side of Kerbin again and we can actually see what is going on. About like this, a bit more. So let's point towards the target again, but I think we will no longer do this on the main engine, but instead on the RCS thrusters, which is these little things over here. So let's switch RCS on by pressing R and activate the docking mode with this button. Super, get closer. And up to now was the, the easy part. And uh, now the, the tricky part starts with docking. Here is our, our target. We are actually going to the right side of it. A distance of 21 meters have a relative speed of zero and achieved rendezvous. We have brought both crafts close or very close to each other and matched the velocity. And now it comes to docking, but I think it would be better to do it with this other craft because the, the sun is pointing that way so we can see easier what we are doing. And as you can see, this one is some. Yeah, Soviet-style spacecraft. It looks a bit like the Vos uh, Vostok or Voskhod with the upper stage still attached. And also this one you can download from the Steam Workshop. I will place the link in the description. And what we have to do now for docking is putting this docking port, the Clampotron Junior, here onto that Clampotron Junior over there. And we can set the other docking port as target. And with this docking mode, you can move. Let's make it easier by setting the camera to locked. You can move your um, your spacecraft in a linear way, like this. With the RCS thrusters, that's where you need them. And by pressing the spacebar, you can switch it to rotation and movement. And we now have to, at first, roughly align the two spacecraft. And then start to move towards each other. And by matching the, uh, the pink target marker and the yellow uh, prograde marker, like this, you will be moving towards the docking port of the other spacecraft. And I already can see that they are not perfectly aligned. It's better make it like this. You have to gently, gently touch down into the other like this. And once you are docked, which is now, both crafts will be treated as one. So you can see here the, the crew of the KV-3, there you can see the crew of the Mark II. And if I ever do my, um, my let's play or playthrough or whatever you want to call it videos, 
of the career mode, which hopefully are going to be a bit better than this one. This, yeah, let's call it KV3 Mark II or something. Test project is something that I have planned doing this rendezvous like now in a bit, yeah, a bit more elaborate way. But anyway, maybe I will do this video someday. And to keep this video short, we are not going to land, but just end it right here. So you have seen how to rendezvous, how to dock. I hope you have learned something. If you have liked it, you can leave a like or a subscription either way to this channel. And you can also feel free to check out my main channel. So let's see you in the next video where we are going to land on the moon.